Hey everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are building the Top Llama V2 uh, Auditorium, which is going to match the new Top Llama High School that I built the other day on the channel. I'll put a link in the video description below if you haven't seen it. But this is what the auditorium ends up looking like and it goes right next to the high school. Now the fun thing about doing an auditorium build is you basically have to build it uh, four times <laughs> because there's four different um, scenarios or active states this lot can be in. So you have to do one that's like a regular auditorium, one that's you know, has objects for a formal dance, and then one that has the high school graduation, and then lastly, career day um, event. So there's different objects that are required for each particular state of the lot. Um, but the easiest way to get the lot to look the same across all states is to first build it. So that's what we're doing here. We're building just the base auditorium. Um, and then once I put it together, I shared, I shared it to the gallery, um, and then I went and grabbed it from the gallery again after I changed the lot state. So what I did was I moved over to formal dance, and it reverted to the old lot, and then I bulldozed it, placed my lot from the gallery, which was the auditorium, and then shuffled around all kinds of different objects, which you'll see in the video as well. But um, I wanted the auditorium to be pretty simple. Um, the original one was actually very simple. I think there was just a restroom and just a big giant open room. So with mine, I have a stage over here. I thought it was a good spot to put it uh, kind of off this way instead, because that way you can rotate the camera around. And not only can you see the whole room, um, but you can also see the stage for different events. Um, there's a main entrance hallway. There is a bathroom which is compatible for either gender of sim. Um, so it's just one bathroom on the lot. It's great for space saving, not having to separate them out. And then there's one other smaller room which I basically decorated it as a storage room for different objects. So as the states change, some of the objects are moved out of the room or shuffled around, but um, it's just to give a little bit of realism. And I mean, they have to put the objects for different events someplace, right? I mean, it's not every object that's required because the room is just too small to fit. So obviously they would truck some in from high school storage or something um, to kind of decorate the rest of the way for the event. But it's just a nice little realistic touch. Wasn't really sure what else to put over here because I thought like an office would be kind of silly because nobody's over here unless there's an event going on. Um, I mean, you can visit the lot, sure, anytime you want, but um, when there's an event going on, you're really primarily focused on the event that's taking place in the game. And they're actually very short. Um, one of the things I learned from my original Top Llama Auditorium build is um, it was a great build and all, but like um, having some of the objects shuffled around in different spots or different areas in the build um, the time is a very limited time crunch for things like prom and voting and um, not having those objects central so they're easily accessible um, eats away at the time remaining on the actual event itself. I mean, it's a very, very quick event, uh, even the graduation. So I thought it's important to have most of the objects that you'll need for a particular event taking place. So originally, this is the base auditorium and I was going to put chairs here. Um, I actually did put chairs, um, and then I shared it to the gallery, but I had a weird glitch with the main hallway area roof ceiling. It just kind of disappeared when I went to place the lot again, so I actually ended up removing the original from the gallery and then fixing the ceiling. I also totally forgot here that um, <laughs> I used the platform to kind of give some elevation to the actual build itself, and um, yeah, I thought, oh, Leia, let's put a platform into the bathroom and the storage room. No, Arthur, why would you do that? Just raise the floor up. That makes much more sense than putting a freaking staircase in the bathroom. Like that just, who does that? Uh, I didn't. I almost did, but I didn't. I caught myself because I was like, wait, that makes absolutely no sense. Just raise the plat or platform up um, underneath the floor. So we do have the llama decal. So that's great. Um, trash cans all around because they're required. Um, I think only like one, maybe or two, but I put four. Hey, more the merrier. And, you know, if Sims have a lot of trash, the less like 
distance they have to go for a trash can so it works out uh we do put windows in the auditorium i was kind of like hmm do we put windows do we not um but i didn't put them over the stage side instead i used um glass roofs or skylights over the stage area which creates a nice lighting shadow down the stage or on uh, the walls of the stage like behind it so i thought that was kind of nice just to bring some light into that area i also did use move objects uh i use like the the bigger lights you see hang down from the ceiling that look kind of like a gymnasium or auditorium like light um but then i use the saucer lights and use move objects and put those in there because those actual lights themselves aren't like bright enough so i thought using the saucers there would bring a lot more brightness to the room itself because it's a big room to light um, and now we're just doing some landscaping i tied it in with the surrounding shrubbery and bushes um, there's not much space on the lot to landscape so i did very minimal bare minimum kind of thing um because again there really isn't much space i think there's like two tiles but then you can really only use one of those tiles before it doesn't let you place anything so you do get to see me share it to the gallery um so that was basically it oh and then i found a mistake um but um i was just doing like my final sweep and then i make up the description which i wasn't really sure what to say but i just called it like top llama auditorium uh, this is the auditorium and it's like part one of four. So this is where I switch modes. I grabbed a lot from the gallery again. And then that's when I noticed like, what the heck happened to the ceiling? Um, so yeah. And then when I went back and I replaced the um, auditorium build, uh, the ceiling was actually missing from that too. So again, I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah. Originally, I was going to put the photo booth in front of the window there, and I thought that doesn't make any sense. And these are like the most, probably the most used items on the prom thing because you have to vote. And then you take photos and then you dance, you know, so there's speakers and stuff. So I thought having like the voting and the photo thing on the stage was actually a great use of the space. Uh, Sims can go vote, get their photos taken. Um, I do grab some of the objects out of storage and then just duplicate them for additional ones. Um, and that's basically set up for prom. It's pretty simple. I didn't want to overly clutter the lot um, for performance reasons. And also just because there really isn't that much more room for anything else. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, I if I didn't have the storage room there, I probably would have gained some more room. But it wouldn't really have mattered for the auditorium or the like the main focus area anyway so since i took some objects out i added some cluttery objects back in but that's part two done or the uh, formal dance or prom so we're basically just renaming it sharing that part and then we are switching over to the high school graduation which again i'm grabbing the base lot again uh, but I, this time i grabbed the prom one um, so it actually had the corrected ceiling and roof over the main hallway. And now I'm just shuffling all the furniture around to set it up for graduation. And then I realized my chairs were not centered. Um, I left some of the other objects from prom cause I thought, oh, they could kind of work for graduation. You know, some beverages, we put the photo taking thing behind, um, put some chairs up there. I really hope Sims won't sit up there for the graduation ceremony cause that would be silly, but knowing them, they probably will. Um, but generally I rolled out the red carpet and that's pretty much it for graduation. Again, pretty simple, but what else can you do? Like it's, it's just has a set required amount of objects and that's that. So then this next part is the, um, career day. So we're just moving all the furniture out for graduation. I kind of throw some of the objects from, um, prom and just the other events back into storage just for, you know decorative purposes some realism you know and then we roll out the career day tables um it's required to only have three i placed four just because different colors and there was plenty of floor space throw some signs out here and there um just to kind of give it a little bit more of like a career day presence you have the career day signs and that's really it it's very simple but again it doesn't require much you can't really do much otherwise it's not really you know 
between different events. It's not really like super functional or anything. So yeah, here's the screenshot. So you can find the auditorium on the Sims 4 gallery along with the Top Llama High School build, which you can see off in the distance here. Uh, they match perfectly well together, go well together. Um, so it's really great, I think. This is top down of the regular auditorium view. I changed it up and put a cheer mat in the end um, instead of the chairs. And that's when I kind of fixed the ceiling issue um, so that's kind of what's different from the original version. So, and that's the view from the stage. And then we have the formal dance or the prom uh, event. So that's kind of what that looks like. Um, you can kind of see walking up, you walk down the balloons um, and uh, you can see the whole floor and there's plenty of room to dance too in different areas. So around the tables and such. So it works out well. Um, and I think it's a great lot. It's made just basically for the high school build. So that's kind of what this is. It's, it's a very simple lot, very bare bones. You can only do so much. So I do hope you enjoyed it. Again, you can find all four parts of the law or all four active states of the law on the Sims 4 gallery. They're all named uh, very similar. So you can find that along with high school. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what you think, any suggestions, any requests for future builds. But that's all I had for this video, so I do thank you for watching. I hope you have yourself a great day, and I will see you in the next video.